Hello and welcome back to 27 Fox Place. With all the rain that we've had this year, the plants are thriving and the flowers are starting to bloom. I've been wanting to get outside and clean up in the yard, but it always seems to be raining on my parade. The skies clear up for a few days, followed by more rain. And when the sun finally comes out, all I want to do is get outside and work in the yard. But it always seems to be raining on the weekends. So in the meantime, I've been trying to stay motivated to get a few things done inside the house. And today I have have some routine cleaning that I need to do and then I want to clean up our closet and declutter some of the clothes that I haven't been wearing lately. I haven't been feeling all that motivated the past few months and I like to blame it on the weather. <laughs> I usually get a touch of seasonal depression in late January or February which is also when we happen to get most of the rainfall for the year. The cloudy days make it hard to get motivated to do anything other than curl up with a blanket, a book, and a beverage. <laughs> But as the days get longer, my energy starts to return. There's a few spring cleaning tasks that I've been putting off because it hasn't been warm enough to open up the house yet. And if we do get a day nice enough to open all the windows, the last thing I wanna do is stay inside cleaning. <laughs> and I do need to take the covers off of the sofa cushion so that I can wash them. But I also need a warm sunny day so that I can hang them up outside to dry. We use a blanket to cover up the cushions to reduce the wear and tear from the dogs every week and it's much easier to wash the blanket every week instead of the cushion covers. And I do like to swap out the blanket on the sofa when I change the sheets on the bed and I usually put out a clean blanket when I reset the living room in the morning but Miss Callie was napping on the sofa so I had to wait for a vacancy. Clean bed sheets is one of life's simple pleasures. <laughs> I love the smell and feel of fresh sheets, but it's also good for overall health. Sheets act as a barrier between your body and the mattress, helping to reduce the buildup of sweat and oils and bacteria that can accumulate and then lead to odors. Most experts recommend putting clean sheets on the bed every week or two. I love sleeping on fresh sheets, but if I don't change the sheets every week, they start to smell a bit gamey, <laughs> so I need to put Put a clean set of sheets on the bed every week. Airing out the bed each day can extend the time between washings, but if we wait too long that buildup starts to work its way through the sheets and into the mattress, which can lead to unpleasant odors and an unhealthy environment. grew up and somehow made it through without losing sight mm -hmm. and I still wonder where you are and if you found a way out from the dark the stories I've been told they never seem to leave my mind it got so cold this winter that we had to put an extra quilt on the bed to stay warm at night. But because we live in Southern California, our winters are usually short and very mild, but the temperatures drop dramatically as soon as the sun sets. It rarely gets below freezing, but the overnight lows in our area can dip into the low 30s at night. It's still cold for this time of year, but it's warmed up enough that we don't need two quilts, so I took one off the bed, and I need to wash that today. But it can still get cold enough to need an extra blanket, so I wanted to leave a quilt at the foot of the bed so that it's there if we need it. I've mentioned before that we have two quilts and two duvet covers that we can mix and match to get different looks and I usually like to use the dark blue quilt during the winter months and then switch over to white in the spring and summer. I pulled off the white quilt last week when I changed the sheets so that I could wash it and then I swapped it with the blue quilt but I still need to swap out the pillow shams.
Like a candle I just burn away All we really have is time All we really have is time Part of my weekly routine is cleaning the laundry room. Our washer and dryer is in the garage, so it doesn't take long for the dust and grime to build up. So when I change the sheets and blankets, I also clean the laundry room, and I try not to wash any clothes when I change the sheets so that I can wash the sheets or blankets that I need to. I don't need to wash the sheets this week, so I just have the blankets. So while I'm waiting for the washer, I can clean the laundry room. I wipe down the countertops and the front of the washer and dryer each week, and then every other month I clean the entire space from top to bottom. Cleaning the living room is on my schedule for this week, but I just wasn't in the mood <laughs> to clean the living room for some reason. The living room is much bigger and there's a lot more to clean, so there's a lot more to do and a lot more to think about. Cleaning the laundry room is much easier and faster, and I can usually clean the entire space in about 20 minutes, so I decided to swap things around so that I could use the extra time to take care of something that I've been putting off for months now.
I need to clean both the washer and dryer, but I skipped over the washer this time. The front touch panel is very sensitive and I didn't want to disrupt the wash cycle. So I'll just give it a quick wipe down and clean before I start the next load of laundry. The dryer needs regular maintenance to keep it running efficiently. Lint can build up and block the airflow, causing the dryer to work harder and longer. And this can shorten the lifespan of the dryer and increase the cost of running it. So it's important to clean out the lint trap after every load. Load. but lint buildup inside the dryer can also be a fire hazard. Lint is highly flammable and when it accumulates inside the dryer vent or exhaust duct, it can easily catch fire if it's exposed to a heat source. I'm using a brush that's designed to remove trapped lint and improve the airflow. You can find a link for the brush that I'm using in the description box. I like to clean the dryer vent every month or two, but it may need to be cleaned more often if you use your dryer several times a day. Oh baby, I love your madness It's so incredibly beautiful oh, You shine like gold So selfless to all And wild like an animal oh. Some would say I'm insane in the right and the way But I just love to play and you're fun and Something else that I just recently learned is that fabric softener and dryer sheets can clog up the tiny holes in the lint trap and block the airflow. So the screen needs to be washed with warm soapy water to remove the buildup and improve the airflow every few months. I don't use any of these products, so I usually just vacuum the lint trap when I clean the laundry room. But since I needed to clean out the trap today, I thought it would be a good idea to wash it with a little soapy water. I washed a load of laundry the day before and I hung up a few things to air dry. So now that the laundry room is clean, I just have a few things to fold and put away. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. I'm trying to make this darkness go away. I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my lungs give out. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. And I will leave my windows open so that I can hear the sound of people talking and the wind blowing in the trees. Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light. Spread my wings so I can fly Oh, and the darkness starts to fade Feels like things are gonna go my way I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day 
gonna let the past be filled with smoke. I try to wipe down the outside of the cabinets out here every other month and then I try to clean the inside of the pantry about once a year. It's something that's on my list of things to do, <laughs> but that will take more time than I want to spend today. I do try to keep the pantry organized so that we can use up the food that we have before it has a chance to expire. We don't store anything out here once it's been opened, but the shelves still need to be wiped down to clean up the dust and spills that can accumulate. Cleaning out the closet has been on my list of things to do since we finished our bathroom makeover last year. There's not much left that I need to do, so it shouldn't take too long to finish up. When we replaced the floor in the bathroom, we decided to replace the floor in the closet at the same time, and since the two rooms were connected, we had to take the door off the closet. We also had to remove the clothes that were hanging in the closet so that we had room to work. So most of the closet was empty and the rest of it was covered up with plastic when we were working on the bathroom, but there was still a good layer of dust that made its way onto the shelves. <laughs> most of the closet got cleaned up before we put things back inside the closet, but there's still a few shelves that need to be cleaned up. There are so many little projects that I need to do around the house, but without some type of deadline, it's so easy to just keep putting them off for another day. <laughs> and one of my goals this year was to try and tackle one or two small projects every month. And I got off to a good start in January when I gave my work table a little makeover, but then I lost all motivation <laughs> and I haven't done anything for the past few months, but my energy is starting to come back and I'm feeling motivated again. So I I want to try and start working on a project this month. I don't have anything planned yet, but there's lots of things to choose from. I see it in your eyes. Yeah, I can read the signs. You need to get away. It's how we make a change. Oh, you know you'll always have me. A few years ago, I did a big wardrobe declutter and I gave this closet an extreme deep clean <laughs> and I got rid of all the things that I hadn't been wearing, but I hung on to a few things that I just wasn't sure about. I've been slowly weeding things out here and there, but I need to go through my jeans today and decide what I can donate. I tend to wear my favorites into the ground, but I have quite a few pairs that still look brand new, but I've had most of them for over 10 years now and I just don't wear them anymore because they're starting to look dated. So now they're just taking up valuable space in my closet. I want to avoid buying jeans just to fill up the space, but if I clear out the jeans I'm not wearing, I can see what I actually have, and then I can free up space to fill in any gaps. We can stay in hotels, just living off the edge. Only good times ahead. So let me put a smile upon your face Maybe make your worries go away So put your trust in
When I was a kid, like most kids, I had to clean up my room before I could go out and play. <laughs> the problem was I didn't know how to clean up, so I just shoved everything into the closet or under the bed. Of course, that didn't go over very well, and I always had to do it over again. But as I got older, I realized that it was hard to put things away when I didn't have a place to put them. I didn't get organized overnight. I went through a lot of trial and error to find systems that worked for us, but I've been trying to decline clutter the things that we don't need. The more things we have, the more time we need to dedicate to managing those things, but it doesn't matter how organized you are, you can't put things away if there's no room for them. <laughs> I can't say that I'm a minimalist. We definitely have more than we need, but I'm trying to get to the point where we use what we have and we have what we use. With all the rain we've had, <laughs> you'd think I would use these boots more. I used to wear them all the time when the dogs were younger. We took them to the park every day, rain or shine, so that they could burn off some energy. It was nice to have the boots to keep my feet warm and dry. But now that they're older and they're not as active, we can skip a day or two when it rains, but the truth is, now I just walk from the car to wherever it is I need to go. There's a few shorts that I just haven't been wearing lately, so I wanted to declutter them as well. I found a new pair of khakis to replace an old pair, but I only have a limited number of hangers for shorts, so I don't have room to add anything new unless I get rid of something old. So I have to be more intentional when I'm looking for shorts. I don't wear belts as much as I used to. I haven't worn half of them in over a decade, but there's a few that I want to hang on to for now. I can always declutter again next year, but sometimes it's easier to let go a little bit at a time.
That's all for today. If you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications before you go. And thank you so much for spending your time with me today and I hope to see you next time.